This is not a test. This is an emergency broadcast system, reporting on the commencement of the experiment known as Big Bob Blasphemy. All spectators and eyewitnesses are about to witness something unlike anything your so-called furry conventions have ever seen before. Lifting, bonking, flipping, ramming, grabbing and low-speed spinning weapons have been authorized for use during the experiment. All other weapons are restricted. All participants in the experiment are aware of the concerns regarding the nature of the robots built for this purpose and want to assure that they are all under our control and shall not cause any harm to humans, animals, or other living beings. All spectators and eyewitnesses, however, are instructed to be as loud as possible when required or instructed to do so. In order to keep the experiment under control, we are now commencing a test to see how loud everyone witnessing can be. Everybody shout, yeah. Yeah! Whoa. As loud as can be, please shout out the words you see on the screen. Excellent. Now, one last time, be as loud as if your life depends on it. Everybody scream! <laughs> For more than the past 40 years, the sport of robot combat has been given many platforms. It's had TV shows. This is Robot Wars. It is time for... Ladies, gentlemen. 
gentlemen and non-binary pals, would you please welcome our very own Master of Ceremonies, Danza Dragon. Hello. Good afternoon, SocialCon 2024. Are we ready for some robot carnage? Right then, let's get into it. So, with me today are our two wonderful commentators. We have the lovely Rick. And the ever fabulous Alex Silverfang. <laughs> really, F bomb right out the gate. What the hell is wrong with you, mate? You can tell the professional. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We are so professional. Very professional. Very All right. So, Rick, are um, you expecting a bit of carnage? I'm expecting a fair amount of carnage. Just a little bit, yeah? Just a teensy bit. Just a little bit. Sprinkle a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper, garnish with a bit of chew, and then give it a blessing of Nick Berry. What's your drink of choice of that? Water. <laughs> it is actually water I gave. It's water. It's, 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 I'm thirsty. Someone's not doing their job. <laughs> right then. So, let's go over how this works. For anyone who's new to the sport, uh, we're going to have head-to-head -head elimination style combat. We have three minute rounds, later stages maybe two minutes if we're running a bit tight on time. We have the drop pit here. You know, indicated by the hazard markings. That will be active 30 seconds after each round starts. And they press this little adorable wheel over here. Very fancy. They hit that, it will become active. If a robot falls down the pit, they are eliminated. If any robot is taken out of bounds, they have 10 seconds to get back, back on their feet, back in the arena, otherwise they are out. If we go over three minutes, we'll be, uh, that'll be down to the judge's discretion. Uh, speaking of which, there are three empty chairs here. My name is Mark from Team Free Robotics. You might know me better as Frey Fox. This is Arctic Furno, which was a top 16 finish at Battle in the Borough 3 last year. And this is the latest version of Sprocket Raccoon, um, which is still getting a few bits ironed out here and there, but he's looking all right. <coughs> Previous version got to the quarterfinals at the UK Championships in 2021. In 2022, won the Pinball Warriors Revival Tournament at Robonert. Last year, I also got the Sportsmanship Award at Scout Showdown 2. My approach to robot combat is straightforward enough. Fun. Cool designs, but still maintaining something of a competitive edge. Um, I think our competitors today um, might find the robots a little bit tricky to drive at first and everything, and might have a bit of those arena nerves going in, but importantly, I hope they enjoy what's, uh, what's coming today. I hope they enjoy and have a good time. What I will be looking for as a judge is I'll be looking for aggression and violence, but you want to be the aggressor, you want to be on the attack. I will not tolerate retreat, okay? Go for it, go get them, have fun. All the best. I've built robots since 2017. <laughs> no! Hi there, I'm Rob from Team Wipe. I mainly make robots out of plastic with varying degrees of competitiveness. I've uh, been building robots since 2017, uh, mainly featherweights and beta weights. The main challenge here for our competitors is actually the drive of the robots, which is, takes a lot of time and perhaps on the sticks. Now, I'm the first time judge here at this event, but I've watched uh, hundreds of robot battles so far, so I've got plenty of experience there. Best of luck to our competitors. <laughs> Hi, I'm Liam. I'm, I'm a Panic Attack fan. What? No, sorry. Hi, I'm Liam from Team SGR. I've been doing like a drive robots. Um, I'm mainly involved in the featherweight and antweight uh, battles, and I've also been involved in the odd occasional heavyweight fight as well. Um, I've been obsessed with the sport since I was nine. Um, I'm Panic Attack's number one fan, as labelled by its owner, Kevin Davis, and I've also been. Um, I've been into the, 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 the sport, um, the sports, since I was 
since I was um, about 15 and I've been taking part ever since 2006. I'm looking forward, like, I'm looking forward to judging this event uh, and yeah, best of luck to the competitors. Let's welcome our wonderful judges on stage! Right. So they have the tough job of figuring out who wins after three minutes of carnage. So, thank you very much for joining us today. And uh, I'm glad I don't have your job. <laughs> so, uh, you want to give some thoughts on uh, what you think's going to be going on? Well, I think there'll be a lot of flipping and a lot of grabbing and a lot of spiking and a lot of fighting, you know? So, yeah, aye. Of course, probably I didn't expect more than that, can we? But we'll be watching every little move. Yeah, I expect a fair amount of tactical driving in there and uh, make use of the pit. Building robots is dangerous, but arguably being a judge can sometimes be even more dangerous. So, please don't take it personally if the result doesn't go your way. <laughs> A uh, very political answer, uh, yeah, very fair. <laughs> right, thank you very much, judges. Feel free to take your seats. Right then, so, I think we should uh, get on with some fights, don't you think? Yeah! Let's do it. Right, so, I believe we have two teams for round one. Should we bring, should we bring those teams up? Let's do it. Let's do it. Right. First two teams, can you come up? The tournament will kick off with round one, where we will see three one versus one matches. The winners of their own respective fights will progress to the semi-finals, meaning the losing robots will go into the redemption round. All three losers will face each other in this round and only one can win. The two losing robots in this fight will be knocked out of the competition leaving the winner to secure the remaining place in the semi-finals. Each semi-final fight will be one versus one. Like in round one, the winners of each battle will be going through the grand final, sending the losing robots into the third place playoff. Then, we finish off the tournament with the finals, seeing who will claim the third place and who will be crowned champion here at Scotiacon 2024. And this, is what the fight card for round one looks like. Kicking off the competition with Bussy de Gripe against Njiz Whaler. And then Trash, Trash Panda taking on Four Wheel Drive and Axolotl versus Claws Trophobia. Let's hand over to Kluke with the teams behind the machines kicking off round one. So I am now here with Aki, with Bussy de Ripper, as I've been informed is pronounced. Give me your origin story for your robot. You know, where did the name come from? Who, who is Bussy de Ripper? Uh, we just thought that it was a really powerful name. We, we, we wanted something that would, like, strike fear into our opponents. And, like, I mean, look at her. She is incredible. She's... Yeah, she's here to serve, and she's, she's not here to lose. Yeah, that she's not here to lose. So now over to you guys, we have got Pudge with Jizz Whaler. Pudge, what can you tell us about Jizz Whaler today? I'm sure there's a lot of Star Wars fans about, and if you do, you get the reference. We're here for, uh, yeah, we're, all, uh, we're here to whale on the opponents and to give some people a good vibe. Whale on the opponents, give some people a good vibe. Fantastic, thank you very much, you two. Island, Jizz Whaler. The name isn't necessarily what you think it means. Jizz Whaler is a beetle weight robot from Ireland weighing in at 1.1 kilograms. Its weapon of choice is a flipper and has two types of plastic to protect it. It's powered by a mighty 11.1 volt LiPo battery. Will the luck of the Irish take them to the victory? From Glasgow, Let's get some carnage going! Arena systems operative. Prepare yourself. 
some member of your organization.
Right then, so, shall we uh, move on to round two? Yeah! yeah! Right, next two teams, come on up! So here we are with uh, Shadow Raccoon with Trash Panda. So what can you tell us about your Trash Panda robot? How are you feeling about today? Do you think you're going to win? Well, I, I think he's going to give the other team a really good trashing. Um, well, I suppose actually he's a flipper, so he's probably actually giving them a flipping good time, but, you know. Oh, I like that. Excellent. And now over here we have Rusty with Vore Wheel Drive. I have one question for you, Rusty. Why Vore Wheel Drive? Because we're here to eat the competition. Oh, so this is going to be an interesting fight. Four wheel drive will be looking to push its way to victory with its ramming technology. Again, another 1.1 kilogram Beetle weight bot, and again, protected by two types of plastic and powered by an 11.1 volt LiPo battery. So the trash man is all quite quick, it seems to be one of the lighter ways. This is a lift, uh, it is from red, it's uh, got much deep shadow. Good luck guys. <laughs> I want to see some, I want to see some good call. Thank you very much. Oh, get out. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to start the trash talking. Alright, I look forward to it. <laughs> <laughs>
to lose out in this way. So what we're going to do is we're going to go on to the next round and we will let these guys have a two minute rematch after this fight. That's fair. I think we can do that. Well, I don't think that's fair. Oh, shut up. <laughs> I think it's really nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It appears that four wheel drive don't think that everything is alright, Doug. <laughs> I couldn't believe that was a technical difficulty. <laughs> a technical difficulty in this kind of event. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> couldn't imagine it. So, like Harry said, we're going to move on to round three, while we desperately attempt to glue the shit out of the wheels. <laughs> let's get the wheels back on this show. Let's run the video for round three, two... So we are here today with Blue, with claustrophobia. Um, so talk to me about claustrophobia. What can you tell me about your robot? Sure, so we've got the claws on the front, and we feel that by the end of the competition, our competition is going to be claustrophobia because we've got the claws, we're going to get a good grip on them and we're going to demolish them with these claws claustrophobic by the end. Fantastic. Love that. Taking a good grip on the competition. You're going to, you, you're going to own them. Own them. Annihilate them. Fan fantastic. And um, so, Cafes, you're here with Axolotl. What can you tell me about Axolotl today? Where did the name come from? Well, my friend Will, who Harry also knows, does the Robot Wars event. And I said, can you come up with a really terrible pun for this, for this robot? And he said, axolotl, and I love it because it's got an app, and I also love axis, and it's also purple and black, so it's very on brand. Fantastic. Thank you very much for that one today, Cafes. Look forward to your fight, guys. Good luck. Thank you. Claustrophobia will be looking to squeeze its opponents with its horizontal grabber. It's a slightly heavier robot at 1.36 kilograms. Still protected by two types of plastic and powered by an 11.1 volt LiPo battery. Right, next up we have Lance Lotto from Warwickshire. This is the heavy on the box here. It's got a nice picturing act that will absolutely destroy the story. Chaps, the team is running this one, it will be absolutely effective. the other stories. Are we ready for round three? Getting these in the corners, get them ready, battle ready. Arena systems operative. Prepare yourself for robot activation. Oh, <laughs> 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 
So judges, your thoughts please? Do you, do you have a mic? Oh, Alright, you can borrow mine. There you go. Well I think based on that performance, we think that um, Axel Otto was the more aggressive, plus it was also the more controlled, which is something that um, claustrophobic could not do because a wheel came off in the end. <laughs> yeah. So um Yeah, so um, it's a unanimous decision. We have voted in favour of Axolotl. Thank you very much, judges. Good match. Good match. Good match. Good match. So, yes, teams. Let's uh, discuss your thoughts about how that went. So, I'm doing all this. There you go. Yeah, so unfortunately, the really came off more or less straight away. We had this problem in rehearsal as well. We knew it could be an issue, but we drove the best that we could. Obviously, we got that pin at the end. We think we made the best of a bad situation, but obviously, they had a function of the we didn't. That's just the way of it, unfortunately, but they drove it very well, and we really appreciate it. Thank you very much. Thank you. Right then. So. I saw a lot of jabbing and stabbing going on there. That's the kind of thing I like. <laughs> I, like <I'm> <laughs> <laughs> I, I didn't mean to be violent, but I, I think I got a bit carried away. Oh, oh no, it's totally encouraged. <laughs> so, yeah, congratulations indeed. Right, well done team, thank you. Right, so, can I get a progress update on the gluey wheel situation for round two? Oh. Is it, is it fixed? Not yet. Not yet. We, we are all right. So, we need a bit more time. We're going to move on to round four. Run the clip. Run the clip. Oh, God. That was all the first round bikes. We didn't want to do this until after the redemption match, but because of the amount of time we need to get the issue sorted, we're going to go straight to an interval. Okay. Alright, perfect. On to the interval then. What do you do?
Dancer stroke matter. Fire! Exclamation mark. Fire! Exclamation mark. Help me! Exclamation mark. One, two, three, Karen and Rose. Looking forward to hearing from you.
right? It wouldn't be a show without a few little technical hiccups, right? We like our issues, we do like our issues. We are very professional here, and issues are required for being professional. Welcome on your team! We have four wheel drive. We have Jim Swaler, and we have Axel Otto. Welcome, team! Take your positions on the three way. We were so expecting chaos, we weren't expecting this much chaos. chaos. So many lost wheels. The driver driving up to Scotland. <laughs> the four wheel drive in the corner there, hoping everything will be alright, duck. And then on the other side, we've got Giz Whaler, with the luck of the Irish be with them. And finally, Axel Otto, with the pick that tried to get through to Australia. Love that. We love that. Action. Just undergoing some final checks now. And what we'll do, just to make this even harder, is after the 30 seconds, Harry will drop the pit. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna drop it! <laughs> final little checks, getting ready. We all good? Do they work? Do we have any missing wheels? Do we have all the wheels? Wheels, wheels. I'm yes, seeing all the wheels. Yes, this has got all these wheels on because this is ball wheel drive. It's going to go for all the ball. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm seeing a oh, that's fine. little bit of a... Well, it looks like there's probably going to be a basher now. <laughs> Might have to improvise a little bit with that nubbly basher. <laughs> No, you won't. Smash it. Teams, are we ready? Yeah. Yeah. Marina systems are printed. Prepare yourself for robot activation.
Just a lot. Or oh, just one of the Whatever it is, a lot of go. Just a lot. Just a lot. Alex. <laughs> Good afternoon and goodbye! Yeah. Yeah.